Hello, professor and classmates. This is my presentation of the summary of the teaching English as a foreign language through literature. Um, as a first point, I want to uh, make a point about the importance of the reading that it talks about in the article um, as a challenging experience and how to make it a challenging experience. So we need to um, look for a story that includes a main character, that it has to be a kid, and it also has to include um, or be as, in, um, as an important point uh, children's matter. But also it has to be a story or a literature easy to understand in the sense that uh, it needs to include an intro, a goal, a problem, a conflict, but also the resolution. It also has to include real existing stuff. I mean, to make a connection with the world, right? So a connection with the story for students to know about the world. And also this story needs to be credible and descriptive. Um, in the sense that it will need to provide them a meaningful uh provide them meaningful language right for a comprehensive input then um the article talks about um the um these important um activities that we can use while um uh, using language literature so Something that is really important is the story selection. Uh, for what? To make it uh, this reading, uh, to motivate their reading. So how we can do this? So by taking into account our students' culture, um, interests, objectives, beliefs, likes and dislikes, but also um, what we really know about them then. Uh, uh, related with this listen with these uh, activities through reading we have the listening uh, activities we can use listening while reading that it means that <clears throat> so we it is useful while we use it in the same story that means that we can uh, read um, and avoid distractions uh, show them pictures, ask them to get predictions, and then we have another tool, our activities, or kind of activities, that is shared reading, that we can use echo reading or shared sentence reading. Echo reading is, uh, is reading and they follow us reading too. Um, for them to understand and um and continue pronouncing the same as we did and short sentence reading is when we read a sentence and they try to read the same sentence in the same way that we did as teachers and also <clears throat> we have the independent reading the idea is to look for a reading that is at their level and we can do two kinds of activities or give them questions in some parts of the reading or to put some symbols in some parts of the reading and in some in those points make them uh, or ask them about the main points of those parts of the reading then we have the drama as an activity so we can do a story theater creative drama role play and readers theater um, in this case, the story theater um, is that the teacher reads the story and then they act or they mimic the actions in the story. Then the creative drama is that the students improvise their version of the, uh, some events. Then we have the typical role play when they uh, act current situations. Then the reader's theater is the students play a written play or study trying or study trying uh, to act uh, 
as a real um as real characters then um <clears throat> the importance of all this in the in our teaching practice is that we need to get from them a comprehensive input right for them to understand and relate the reading with real life um something that it i found that it it is really useful is the idea of the, uh, these activities related to drama. So these drama techniques are really use useful. Uh, nor, not only from the typical role play that we always use, but the other ones. So it can be something refreshing for our students. Um, and we can develop, develop some other abilities as expressing. And thank you very much. This is my presentation.